us terribly well in general. There are great teachers out there. There are great school systems. But in general, we could do a much better job of teaching science. And so kids grow up not really understanding this stuff. They don't get uh, why the moon always shows the same face to us. I've read a survey that said that half of the adults in the United States didn't know that the Earth takes a year to go around the sun, these two things, that the Earth goes around the sun and that it takes a year to do it. Something like half. It may only be a quarter. I don't know the exact statistic. But a frighteningly large fraction of people don't know this. And, and that's why pseudoscience like creationism and the moon hoax and astrology and psychics and homeopathy and all this other garbage is so prevalent and such a... Uh, all of these are multi-billion dollar a year uh, industries. And if we could just get people to understand this stuff better, I think they'd, they'd look back and say, oh my gosh, what was I thinking about that? There are a ton of things I'd love to talk to you about, and we want to you know, cover the gamut with you. But you were talking just now about the topic of education, and we've had other people on Point of Inquiry making a similar point, that it is important that people learn about science. It's important for them and not just for the scientists. But let me ask you, does it really matter if people don't know planetary science, if people don't have the right scales of reference in mind for these vast distances you're talking about? I mean, our knowledge of the universe or the solar system, it doesn't really impact our daily life for most people. I can see it being important to astronomers. To you, it's very important. But accountants and lawyers, uh, doctors, athletes, people like that, do they really need to know planetary science and the kind of stuff that you're talking about? You know, if there's a lawyer out there who doesn't know that uh, Enceladus, one of the moons of Saturn, has water geysers uh, coming from it, that's okay. You know, it, it doesn't matter to me if, if somebody doesn't know specific details about planetary science. Of course, because I don't know all the details of planetary science. Uh, they found this hexagonal weather feature on Saturn's North Pole. What the heck is causing that, right? Yeah, it looks eerily like uh, aliens did it or something. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a portal to another dimension, right? Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know what's causing that. Our scientists don't know what's causing that. But if somebody doesn't even know that, that that's out there, eh, you know, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. But I think that um, knowing a little bit about it is good. Now, one of the things, one of the reasons we study the planets is, to, is well, it's just for the love of doing it. But it's also to understand the Earth better. And for scientists to look at Mars, to look at Venus, to look at these other planets and say, what can we learn about them with their older surfaces or their younger surfaces, their different weather patterns? We do comparative planetology and learn more about the Earth that way. Why does Venus have the runaway greenhouse effect and the Earth doesn't? Is it simply because Venus is closer to the Sun? Venus and the Earth are about the same size, about the same density, have the same gravity. And in fact, their carbon budget, the total amount of carbon that they each have, is about the same. So why does Venus have so much carbon dioxide in its atmosphere and we don't? That's an important question. But not for the lawyer or the accountant. It's not, it's not important for them maybe to know the details, but I think even they would support scientists learning about this and understanding it so that we can know more. Global warming right now is one of the biggest debates going on in Congress, not in science. Um, there's, you know, it's, it's overwhelmingly understood what's going on among scientists, but among the public it isn't. And so, you know, the problem here is we have politicians purposely obfuscating what's going on and industry purposely suppressing what's going on. And so that makes it very difficult for the public to be able to judge this. Well, if scientists understood this better and, under, well, of course, understood how to talk to the public better, this wouldn't be as much of a problem. So if the public understood what's going on with the science more, we wouldn't be having these issues. We wouldn't have Congress trying to legislate science and trying to suppress science in many cases. So I think this is important on a daily basis, but I'll tell you a very quick story. When I was a teacher's assistant back in grad school, and there was a, um, a test, and uh, a student was coming up asking a question about something she didn't understand. I remember this very clearly. She came up and asked the professor something, and, and he was trying to help her to understand the question, and she got really upset. And she said, I don't even have to see why I, understand that, why I need to understand this stuff. I'm an English major. And I turned to her and said, I'm an astronomy grad student, and I've read all of Shakespeare's plays. Uh. And she just she glared at me. <laughs> and, and my point was that, like, I guess I haven't read all of Shakespeare's plays, but I've read most of them because I've taken English classes. But the point is, you know, a human is not one thing. A human is not an astronomer. A human is not a lawyer. A human is not a bricklayer. We're complex, multi-layered animals with these big, curved-up brains of ours. And we, we want 
to learn about different topics. And so I know, yeah, I know about astronomy and I know about other kinds of sciences, but I've read Shakespeare. You know, I've read poetry and I listen to music and I watch movies and they don't always have to be science fiction movies, although that's my preference. But the point is, we can, we're multidimensional. We can understand things. To, to make, part of what makes us human is our curiosity and our ability to understand things about different topics. And I think to be a well-rounded human, you should know about this kind of stuff. If it doesn't interest you, that's okay, because um, not everything interests me. But I think that there are some things that people should know. They should know about the planets in the solar system. They should at least know that the Earth takes a year to orbit the sun. I mean, when you're talking about that profound a level of misunderstanding about astronomical science in the public, yeah, I don't care if people don't know there are volcanoes on, on Jupiter's moon Io, but I do want them to know some of the basics of astronomy just so that they can understand how science is impacting their life on a daily basis. I guess what I'm getting at, though, is that you don't have people from other professions arguing that everyone should learn about their fields. Why are scientists, other than because of their own self-interests, why are they so big on having everyone appreciate their stuff? You don't have movements in society around the public understanding of masonry or the public understanding of accounting. You have scientists saying everyone should learn science why should everyone learn science other than so they don't misunderstand things like global warming? Uh, sure, we should, we should know a little bit of science so we're not deceived. But other than that, what's the big deal? The big deal is that our world is becoming more and more science-driven. And what I mean by that is huge decisions about our daily lives are being made based on science, medical science, for example. And when... There are people out there specifically targeting uh, the public's ignorance about medical science so that they can make money. Uh, oh, Kevin Trudeau, this guy who goes on TV all the time talking about cures the medical industry doesn't want you to know. This guy is wrong, okay? And he's selling cures that are nothing of the sort. And if you are very ill and you buy his stuff, you buy into his stuff, you're going to find that his stuff isn't working. And in the meantime, you're not getting the medicine you need. And the same is true about homeopathy. The same is true about acupuncture and all these other quack medicines. If you don't understand the medical science, if you don't understand the scientific method, you can be taken in by snake oil salesmen. And so people should at least understand the basics of how science works. So that, that kind of covers just science in general. And I, I don't care if it's chemistry, biology, astronomy, zoology, whatever. People should understand the basics of science um, because they can get scammed otherwise. But there is this direct influence on their lives, uh, especially in medicine. As far as astronomy goes, you know, maybe it's not, it's not as important as medicine. It's not as important as, say, biology, because there are creationists out there who are trying to teach your kids that science is wrong, and they're, and, and they're trying to substitute their fundamentalist religion for science. Um, it, it, certainly knowing astronomy would help fight that, because people would understand why we know that the universe is about 14 billion years old and not 6,000 like the creationists are claiming. And you said astronomy touches on the big questions in ways that sometimes medical science might not. It's beautiful, you said, but it touches on the big why are we here questions as well. Right. I mean, from, from the, the formation of the universe itself, my word, is there a bigger question than how did the universe come to be? Why is there something rather than nothing? What's going to happen a trillion years from now, a hundred trillion years from now, what's the universe going to look like? How are planets formed? Are, is there life in space? Are there, other, are there aliens out there? This is a question that everybody's interested in. And in the past, ten, literally in the past,